kids. They think it's going to be good for them politically, so they keep the schools closed. No way. The president has decided schools are a political issue, warning today that he could cut off funding if they fail to reopen. Administration officials are piling on, today singling out Fairfax County Schools for the chaotic rollout of online learning when the pandemic first hit. Their springtime uh, attempt at distance learning was a disaster. The education secretary I have, I have says to failing to reopen schools in the like fall cannot... would be a failure for students and taxpayers. Ultimately, it's not a matter of if schools should reopen. It's simply a matter of how. They must fully open and they must be fully operational. The Fairfax County superintendent responded, we would all prefer to have our school year this fall as a normal in-person school year. However, the health and safety of our staff, our students, and our community must outweigh all other factors. Fairfax teachers have been in open revolt over plans to give families the option of two day a week in-person classes. I think the safest option for now is to put off returning school buildings for some time. But the CDC director now seems to be backtracking on his own agency's guidelines for reopening schools. What is not the intent of CDC's guidelines is to be used as a rationale to keep schools closed. It is unclear how much power the federal government has to force local schools to reopen buildings and fill them with potentially vulnerable teachers, staffers, and students. Bruce Lashan, WUSA 9. The Federation, the Fairfax Federation of Teachers president says Betsy DeVos is setting the schools up for failure. Tina Williams says teachers and students need data and clear guidelines to create a safe learning environment.